Okay, this is your host, Dan Stafford, with the Midwestern Geek and Cali uh, video cast. Video casting from 42 Tardis Way here in lovely Temecula, California, summer's winter home. And uh, as you can see, I'm enjoying my Friday evening cigar outside. So we're having class outside, folks. Uh, let me see. It's There's been a lot going on. I've... Uh, had a meeting and it was interesting my title was bumped up about twice on the paperwork I, I'd love to see if that's really true <laughs> um, at work and uh, let's see uh, Google that's the big one on my mind right now uh, Google and the way they're treating HTTP traffic on the web now They are um, marking any site that is not doing HTTPS as insecure, which in truth it is. But here's my problem with this whole situation. Nobody is really doing anything to make it easy to install HTTPS on web hosting packages. It, it's expensive the web hosts don't make it easy they want to sell SSL certificates which are required to do HTTPS okay and if your host is trying to sell a service and now all of a sudden all the browsers are requiring it they're gonna bump up the cost of web hosting it's already kind of on the expensive side for a lot of folks especially small websites you know, small mom and pop businesses, uh, bloggers, etc. If you're on a free blogging platform like, uh, you know, Blogger or uh, WordPress.com, that's fine. But if you're running your own site, which is the only way to get really customizable um, templates and settings and plugins and all that kind of stuff, it's very difficult. Um, to get inexpensive, low-cost SSL certi certificates installed on the website. So I'm not too thrilled with it that way. To me, it's very, very corporate, and it's going to be hard hit on the low-money, high-art websites. It's going to be uh, you know, difficult for very small businesses to deal with. Uh, it's just, I, I think more should be done on the side of making it easier to run encrypted sites um, than just trying to push people to do it. So, that's my take on it. Um, Five G is starting to make some serious progress. Let's get that camera artifact out of there. Five um, G is going to really, really, really do a major improvement in speed. It looks like it may be lower power, and it looks like they're going to have to put a lot of small um, cell phone boxes around. Kind of like the old PCS networks where they had shoebox size ones on uh, power poles and stuff like that in order to uh, make up for the signal's uh, lack of ability to penetrate obstacles. So it, it'll be uh, a lot faster and probably a lot more um, connections available but it's going to be um, a lot more small boxes to get the real coverage they need. So there's a lot of work to be done to extend that out. I'm not sure this is the best idea with the cigar. I'm not so sure that the two mix well, because if I don't kind of stay on top of my cigar, it wants to go out. And I don't like that because once the cigar goes out, it's not so good anymore. So I'm going to set the camera down for a minute. You can 
look at the sky there a little bit. I need to sip off my coffee here. Since I'm doing this totally with my smartphone. And interestingly enough, the night sky right now has um, Mars near the full moon. Um, and Mars is very close to the Earth right now as close as it's been in 15 years, so it's very bright red in the southern sky right now. Uh, it's a pretty good view if you've got uh, clear open skies where you are. So, really nice. I'd suggest getting out and taking a look once it gets a little higher in the sky. Um, we got Jupiter over to the west and Mars kind of to the south. And it, it's... Uh, a nice night sky full moon going on yeah it's really pretty out and no uh, new conventions or anything not yet I'm working on a couple I have an idea for a, a show or a series of shows that I'd like to do on uh, electric cars actually but I've got to see if I can reach out to the company that's doing it because this is a different end of the market. This is not um, directly your Tesla or Mercedes or something like that. No, this is a little more mom and pop, but it's very, very cool and I think it has a lot of potential. So if I can pull that off, that'll be a good one. Sorry, my cigar is trying to go out on me. And uh, I'm having to mix and match, do two things at once. So, I wish the night sky had some more interesting stuff and a lot more stars in it for you. But my little camera on my phone is not going to pick that up. So, I'll have to just roll with it. It is what it is. But, uh... Yeah, there's a company out here in SoCal. Wait until the Corvette goes by here. Uh, there's a company out here in SoCal that is actually retrofitting um, classic cars and turning them electric. Pretty high performance, long range electric, which is interesting. So I want to uh, maybe see if I can get with them. I think they're within an hour of where I am at. Um, and maybe reach out and see if I can't do a little bit uh, deeper uh, interview or a series of interviews with them. If that happens, obviously, I'll let you know. Um, let's see that one's going on uh interesting article uh regarding climate change and its effect on data centers around the united states turns out there was a study by university of wisconsin madison and another university i want to say it was ohio um that are looking at data centers and what sea level rise is going to do to them and it looks like we have a serious problem coming up within the next 15 years car coming by hang on it's 15 one five years uh, with uh, fiber cables uh, backbone and uh, data centers that are going to be in environments that are wetter than they're designed to handle, which means that IT people and tech, telecom and technology people like me are going to have our hands full trying to keep the internet infrastructure up and running and rebuild in drier areas or revamped to be able to handle uh, wetter areas i personally i think move them to higher ground is better however at&t did something interesting recently they 
sunk a data center in uh, 50 feet of water because they're able to get free cooling from the seawater. And that is designed to be in a wet environment, and the fiber connections are as well. Um, they're going to save a ton on cooling, but by the same token, it's going to be more expensive up front to be able to have a waterproof data center. Interesting concept. I'm going to be interested to see how that thing rolls. So work is going great. Um, I'm very happy there. I, they seem to be happy with me so far. I'm progressing very well in my studies as well. Um, it looks like I'm fairly on track despite working full-time and being a full-time student. I'm actually fairly on track. Um, I just went and helped an older couple that was a previous customer of mine, um, needed some help with a printer tonight. So that's why I'm kind of doing double duty. I was spent several hours over there, um, not just uh, getting them set up with a new printer, but also teaching them how to use it. Uh, the one lady is a real estate agent, and she is in the middle of a lot of paperwork. So the printer, scanner, copier, uh, et cetera, is a really big deal on that. And uh, I got them up and running and did a tutorial, and that's pretty cool. And uh, the husband's a nice guy, too. I really like talking to him. He, he, he's uh, very technically astute and sharp and has a lot of interesting things to talk about while I, I'm working on their stuff. So it's a lot of fun. I enjoy working for them. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh. I just watched uh, the Huel Hauser's uh, California Gold episode about the Big Creek project, which was done in 1911. Five man-made lakes and one gigawatt of hydroelectric generation in, up in Northern California, out in a remote area of Northern California. Really, really, really cool show. Um, I posted a link up on Facebook. Uh, I'll pop a link to it in the Midwestern Geek and Cali um, discussion group on Facebook. May put one up on on the uh, site. Um, and I did not get a chance to stitch the interviews that I got over at uh, Anime Expo. Uh, just not having the time to deal with uh, with uh, all the editing and stuff. As you can see, I'm uh, working with stone knives and bearskins and doing double time here as it is, trying to keep this going. I've got neighbors running their cars up and down the street while I'm out having a cigar and talking to all of you. So, got to do what I got to do. You know, um, kind of love it. Uh, poetry is going well. I've been writing a few new poems. Uh, that's uh, that's a quick thing for me, and uh, it seems my writing muse has been in good shape lately, the last couple of weeks. So that's good. Uh, at some point, I'll link my poetry blog on there. I've got quite a few on there. Um, I'll link uh, the poetry blog on MidwesternGeekAndCali.com when I get a chance probably when I'm posting this episode. And uh, we'll see. It's an interesting camera artifact. I don't know if you're seeing that little dot floating around in there, but uh, I think it, it's something to do with light or reflection. Uh, kind of fascinating. Don't know where that's coming from or how to get rid of it, but if I tip the phone the wrong way, uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Um, don't know if you can see that or not. I'll find out when I actually rewatch the video. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to let this video go. So thank you uh, for listening. If, if you're around checking this one out, um, I'm going to need to do another episode tomorrow when I actually can spend a little bit of time and separate the uh, cigar from the uh, 
video production here. So just a brief note and update, and, and uh, I'll try and get a better thing going tomorrow night. And wow, there's a huge cat over in the neighbor's yard across the street, which is not really good for cats to be wandering around loose out here. Anyway, all right. Good night, everyone. Um, happy Vulcan Fingers to you. May there never be a rogue wave in your coffee mug. And as always, you can find us at www.midwesterngeekandcali.com, at Midwest Geek Cali on Twitter, and on Facebook, Midwestern Geek and Cali Discussion Group. Have a great weekend, and hopefully I'll be talking more tomorrow and a little bit more prepared to do a, a little more refined show than what I'm doing right here. Good night.